a book. Let's talk about how we can get our students to read more books during the month of October. If you love a good book tasting, this activity is for you and it will be all treats and no tricks. Check it out. One of the keys to making a book tasting successful is to have a very explicit outcome that leads to very clearly identified targets. So I always have my students identify the title and the topic of the book. Then especially if we are working with nonfiction, they will look through that book to identify an attention grabber, locate that section to find an interesting fact, and should be able to clearly define why they do or do not want to read the text. Now you might need a little bit more buy-in from our students in the month of October. So if we want to increase engagement and add a little trick-or-treating flair, I found these bags from the Dollar Tree and you can use these in several different ways. You could hide the books inside and let the students pull them out at each tasting to reveal the book or they could go trick-or-treating through your book tasting and after they complete each book, they collect a piece of candy or a treat or if your school is not big on a food or it is not allowed, they could collect a letter tile at the end of each tasting and at the end of the activity, unscramble their tiles to reveal a riddle that leads to a reward of some type to again, encourage that student engagement. This activity will have your students going batty over books from cover to cover. 